Lauren, how are ya? Oh, well, I think you're in mute, but let's wait, like always, for more people to join. <clears throat> one minute. Oh, well, if you're the only one, then better. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Okay, let's wait a few minutes and we'll get started for more people to join. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Sublocks. I think you're mute, but let's wait a few more minutes, see when people join. And then we'll, we'll start. All right, well, let's get started. So it's only, you know, it's, it's gonna be us five guys, so better, you guys. Uh, first of all, thank you for joining the call. I know it's Friday, Memorial Weekend. Uh, Memorial Weekend, yeah, Memorial Weekend, so a lot of people out of town. But look, at the end of the day, it comes down to that, to this, right? You know, uh, when uh, you have the option either to go out, do stuff or whatever, get distracted, but you are, uh, in this call and this is important. And actually what we wanna talk about today is super is something super, super important, all right? So I want you guys, first of all, um, tell me in the group chat, either yes or no, if you know who Roger Bannister is, right? Tell me in the group chat, either yes or no, if you know who Roger Bannister is. Send in the group chat right now. Okay, Lux, you don't know. What about you, Lauren? Do you know who is Roger Bannister? Lauren, can you hear me? All right, no, okay. So look, uh, Roger Bannister, he uh, was actually a athlete, a British athlete. He ran track, right? And now this, he is like an old guy now. I'm not sure if he's still alive, to be honest. But, you know, in 1954, so we're talking a while ago, you know, there was this thing going on that a lot of people, uh, it was like a, like a lot of people said that it was impossible to break the four-minute mile. Right, so in other words, it was impossible to do a mile under four minutes. Like literally people declared that as something that it was impossible, completely impossible. So now let me ask you, what is the fastest you've done? Send me in the group chat, what is the fastest you've run a mile before? What is the fastest you've run a mile? You know, with all your effort, what is the fastest that you've run a mile? 
send him in the group chat if you remember. All right, right, Lauren. All right, love to cool. Cool. So, Lux, uh, Lux, we put 9.15, Andres, 5.48, Lauren, 5.58. .50, so, look, and that's the fastest you've done it, right? And back then, you know, we're talking about Avian Sahan, 6.43. Good. So, that's the fastest you've done. So, it's a lot, right? So, that's why a lot of people said, you know, breaking that four minute mark was literally impossible. But in 1954, this British athlete, this British guy called uh, Roger Bannister, which I didn't know about him until this past week, actually. He ran a mile in three minutes and 59 seconds. Just so just barely, barely under four minutes. He was the first guy to do that. Completely a, a super difficult task, but he accomplished that. Now, the funny thing about this story and the main reason why I'm telling you this, because you might be thinking like, well, why is he talking about this? Is because after he did that, understand nobody did that before him. And it, it was literally, people said it was impossible. But the thing is after he did it, 1400 people have done it. More than 1400 people have done it since then. All right. So what can we take away from this? That you know, sometimes we hear a lot of what people tell us that we can do, that we can accomplish, and we believe that we cannot do, be, or do these things, right? Because we hear what people's opinion and we follow those things. But then there's this guy, Roger Bannister, he broke that. So people start realizing, oh, it's not impossible. So let me, let me try it now. Let, let me believe it because somebody did it means I can do it too. And boom, there you go, 1,400 people. So... What we're gonna talk about today, guys, is limiting beliefs, right? Limiting beliefs. Limiting, limiting beliefs, beliefs are literally that, right? Uh, there was a limiting belief from around the world back then that the one minute mile on the, the four minute mile or get run a mile under four minutes was impossible. But this guy, you know, Roger Bannister, broke that limiting belief. He truly believed that he could do it. He did it, and then more people were able to break that. Uh, limited belief so that is a limited belief limited beliefs are things that we say or think in our head that make us not accomplish things that we, we that we want right so are things that we might we may think are impossible we may we may tell to ourselves that we cannot do but then you realize that are things that are really really achievable okay so um Normally, these limiting beliefs that we have in our mind, that we have in our mindset, completely things that we completely think, appear in our in our in our life because of you know something that our parents told us, something that our our a friend told us, it appear because of the environment that we are surrounded by, right? So and maybe are things that people that put in, put put that in your mind. Uh, they probably didn't want that to happen. They didn't, maybe they didn't do it with an intention. Uh, but you, you as a kid, you as a young person, you grab those beliefs, right? And you truly think that you cannot achieve those things because you heard it from somebody because you saw it in the news or whatever it may be, right? So that's why it's so important, guys, that you surround yourself with people that are aligned uh, with the goals that you want to achieve. Because when you are surrounding yourself by, with people that and you know want to do big things that want to achieve a lot of things that really don't don't believe in limits they are limitless you probably will become limitless as well well on the other hand if you surround yourself with people that you know they're negative they are constantly complaining they they don't uh, they don't look at the positive side of things you'll probably uh, be just like that right so i always uh, say an example that works really well, really well to describe uh, the definition of limited belief. So I'm gonna say it this way. Um, there is the thermometer and a thermostat, right? So uh, let's talk about first about the thermometer. The thermometer for me is what I, I would call, I would call somebody that uh, his mindset is limited. Why? Because 
a thermometer, you know, based on the environment, it shows you the temperature that it is, or, or it reacts based on the environment, right? I'm gonna repeat that, a thermometer reacts based on the environment. So for example, a thermometer, you have it, you know, whatever, it's not showing any temperature, then you put it out, and it, it reacts to the temperature, it reacts to the external aspects, right, in the environment. While in the other hand, a thermostat, you know, for example, an AC that has a thermostat, let's say, do complete, does completely the opposite, meaning, it changes the environment that uh, the thermostat is surrounded by. So for example, you're in a room, your, your house is like 80 degrees, 85 degrees is super hot, but then you put the thermostat in 70 degrees, the AC is gonna turn on, and then the whole house, the whole room, is gonna go from 80 degrees, 85 degrees, back to 70, 70 degrees. So the thermostat is a positive talk, it's a self-talk, it's all those things that we've been talking in the past weeks that are really important, that are things that change your mindset. So that's why, guys, the, your environment that you're surrounded by are super, super important. So if all of this makes sense, please uh, write the number one in the group chat. All of this makes sense. Send the number one in the group chat. Thank you, Lux. Good. Andres, good. Lauren, awesome. Awesome, perfect. So, uh, lastly, you guys have to understand that it is very, very common uh, for people to have limited beliefs. Uh, because, you know, sometimes we don't choose in what environment, especially when we're young, we don't choose in what environment we're surrounded by. But you can reframe those limited beliefs. And that's gonna, that's gonna be my, the homework that I'm gonna assign you guys for the weekend. So if you have a sheet of paper, take it out, take a pen. If you don't have, find one real quick. This is the homework. This is what I want you guys to do uh, this weekend, okay? I want you guys, first of all, to sit down, sheet of paper, pen over the weekend, and think about those limited beliefs that you have. Some examples could be, let's say you are, you're a freshman, you're a high school team. Or you're about to be a freshman in your high, in your high school in, in your high school and you want to play soccer for the varsity team. A limited belief that you may have is, you know, I'm a freshman, I don't think I'm gonna make the, the varsity team. Or, you know, I'm a freshman, I might make it or not into the varsity team, but I'm not gonna start for sure because I'm a freshman. That's a very, very common limited belief. It's the same in college, right? Oh, I'm a freshman, I'm you know, I, I, probably I'm just gonna play like two, three games be a sub, then my sophomore, get more minutes, and then I'm gonna kill it my junior high school year. That's a limited belief. So if you have, I want you guys to sit down and really think through, what are some of the limited beliefs that you have? What is, what is something that when you, when you think that you wanna accomplish something, that thing that it stops you? That is like, yeah, but. So I want you guys to write down three, three limited beliefs that you may have. It might, this might take you a lot of time. It might, it might take you, I don't know, five minutes, but the important task here is to sit down and really think through, and find three limited beliefs that you may have, okay? Then after you do that, what I want you to do is next to the limited belief that you found, that you found I want you guys to really dig deep and study the facts of it. So what do I mean by studying the facts? I mean, but I mean by that, the fact that, is it true? like completely true, do you really think that you cannot, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the example of varsity. Do you th really think that you cannot play varsity as a freshman? Do you really think that you won't be able to uh, start as a freshman and make an immediate impact on the team? Do you really think that, that that's true? And that's, if you're having trouble finding the right answer, I want you guys to find examples of people that have done that. A great example right now. Who here, right in the chat box, who here has watched The Last Dance, the documentary by Michael Jordan that just finished last weekend? Right in the chat box, have you, uh, anybody, okay, Andres, good, you've watched it. Or at least if you, who knows about The Last Dance? You can say, say yes if you know it, say no if you don't know it. Avi, good. 
I know about it. Okay, logs. Lauren, awesome. Okay, guys, so you guys know about this. If you haven't watched that, uh, that's, not, that's another homework that I'm gonna send you. You gotta watch that, for sure. You gotta watch that, you're gonna learn so much. So I'm sure most of you know who Michael Jordan is, but Michael Jordan is probably the best basketball player in the history of the game, for sure. And The Last Dance, a the documentary they did is 10 episodes that, sh that tells the story about him pretty much and the, and the team, the Bulls, that's the team where he played for. But a funny story is Michael Jordan, the best basketball player in the history he didn't make varsity high school team. His freshman year, I think it was. He didn't make it. We're talking about the best player. And he ended up being the best player in history. And he didn't make varsity when he was some, some of your age, probably your age, Lauren, or even, even younger. So if you, what I mean by that, studying the facts about your limited belief, if you're struggling with it, Study, study people have done it. N know more about Michael Jordan. You know, he, he didn't make it varsity, but then he went on and made the, the, the next year, then he played for college, and then he greatest of all time, right? And 13, I want you, to, I want you guys to write um, in that piece of paper in the homework. I want you guys to create a new belief, all right? So what do I mean by create a new belief? What I mean by creating a new belief right, is write something positive about that belief that you have. Change complete, completely the perspective. So for example, you know, as a freshman, I don't think I'm gonna play in the varsity team, right? As a freshman, I, I am sure that I can play in the varsity team and I can create an immediate impact, all right? And now the funny thing about this is that you have, you have to write it because we talk about it in the past, Magic things happen when you write what you want. When you go through that process that you are just on the piece of paper, you, you're just you and the piece of paper, just you and your, your mind, just think about this thing, magic happens. And then when you, whenever you, wrote, you write that, you might not still believe it. But the more you write it, the more, the more you believe it could happen. And then you get to a point that you truly believe that, yeah, I can do this. Okay, so uh, that's the homework uh, for this weekend, all right? I want you to, I'm gonna repeat it. First of all, name three limited beliefs that you might have. Think about them. Really dig deep inside of your, in your mind. Three limited beliefs that you might have. Second, get to the facts. That, that means you really think that you, uh, you are limited and you really cannot do that. And third, create a new belief. How? Change the perspective. Of that, of that limited belief. Change it, convert it into positive, okay? Um, so look, I'm gonna tell you now a personal example, right? I mean, I, ha I have a lot, but I'll, I'll tell you um, a personal example in a, that uh, it's not that I had a limited belief, I think I had the opposite. And it's just the example of college. Whenever I came here to the U.S., I, you guys know I'm from Venezuela. I came to the U.S. in Venezuela. We don't know anything about the system here. So again, I never heard about nobody, nobody like never told me, nobody ever told me about, oh, as a freshman, you, don't have, you have less possibilities of playing or as a freshman, blah, blah, nobody. So nobody or ne I never heard about that. So in my head, I, I believe, you know, I could, Come, I, I, I 100%, I was 100% certain, 100% sure that I was coming to come here in the US and I'm gonna, I was gonna play. I was just gonna start, get an impact, score goals, and that's it. But I was certain that that was gonna happen. And that's literally what happened. My first year, I, as a freshman, I came in, I earned my spot, I started the, all the games. I was playing with guys that were four or five years older than me because when I came to AU, uh, to play in college, I was 17 years old. I was younger than everybody else. And, you know, it, 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 was, it was great because I didn't have any limited beliefs. So this is why this is so important. This is why knowing who you're surrounding yourself with is important. This is why knowing who to, li who to listen to or what to listen to is so important, okay? So guys, that's the homework. After you complete that, please, what you gotta do is you gotta send, you gotta take a picture of it, take a picture of the piece of paper and send it to me. 
Okay, when you're done, you gotta take a picture of it and send, a, uh, and send it to me. That's it, you, I need you guys to send me that on Sunday, right? Sunday afternoon or something like that. Take a picture and send it to me. And again, just like last week, we're about to end. I'm gonna end the call with two more quotes. You know, the book that I'm reading. Um, super, a really, really good book. So here it is, first quote. quote. There is one grand lie that we are limited. The only limits we have are the limits we believe. All right, so I'm gonna repeat it. There is one grand lie that we are limited. The only limits we have are the limits we believe. All right? And I think I have another one here. Yeah. Last one. Life has no limitations except the ones you make. Life has no limitations except the ones you make. Guys, literally, you guys can achieve anything. Anything. Sometimes we just, uh, sometimes we just, uh, you know, listen too much of what other people say, but then you start doing things, starting getting closer to what you want, and then you realize, oh, shoot, why I didn't do this before? And then you break that barrier, and then you are like, whenever another goal, another big step comes to you, you're like, I already beat that one in the past. That means I can beat this one as well. So it's breaking that first barrier, right? And then everything goes better. So I, I see, Monica, you, you sent me a, 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 okay, a question. Does it have to be about soccer? No. No, we're not talking about soccer only. I just, my exa the examples I put are always kind of like related to soccer so you guys can understand. But it doesn't have to be to, uh, related to soccer, the limited belief. It could be anything. A big one. You know, another example that is not related with soccer, let me believe that a lot of people have, and it's very common, is I suck at public speaking, right? I hate public speaking. People are going to laugh at me when I talk in public speaking, when I'm going to do a presentation or whatever. And, you know, we stand up there, we're sweating, we're on nervous. Hey, that happens to me a lot. And to be honest, look, these calls. When I started starting these calls at the beginning, I was so scared. Scared. Super scared. Now, no, because I did it so many times and I'm like, yeah, I can do this. Okay, so yeah, Monica, it doesn't have to be related to soccer. Uh, that's why I want you to really think about them and the whole process. Uh, but yeah, guys, so that's it for today's call. Thank you again for you guys for tuning in. I know this is Memorial Weekend, uh, a lot of people going out of town and all that. Uh, but again, it means a lot. Uh, all the things that we talk about here. Uh, are going to help you a ton, not only in soccer, but, but in everything. So hope you guys stay safe. I have a great weekend. And don't forget, send me the homework on Monday. Bye-bye. On, on Sunday, sorry. Bye-bye.